Hello everyone. So there was a question on the community about uh, the hierarchy of uh, issues when you're using advanced roadmaps. And so the question is, question from Luca is about uh, <clears throat> the hierarchy that can be of course uh, viewed when you are working on your plan. So as per this hierarchy, you may have initiative, then epic, then story, and then task, and subtask, and so on. And when you're working on the plan, you have this view where uh, you can uh, take a look at your initiatives, then you can expand, and then you can go further, then epics, and so on. But when you're looking at your Jira software board, you do have some hierarchy, but that is limited to epic story and uh, subtask. You don't really get those uh, other issue types that you have defined in your advanced roadmap configuration. And uh, this is what Luca wanted to do. How can we display the same hierarchy in the Jira software, Scrum or Kanban board? Now, you, you cannot really do that because that is not a feature yet. But what you can do is uh, uh, basically you can do a few things like you can add quick filters on top maybe for the initiatives so if you if you click on initiative number one you can maybe filter all the issues that are under that particular initi initiative maybe you can do that at the same time uh, you can also add initiative issue type or not, not really initiative but you can you can add the parent link so usually epics are linked to initiatives using parent link and uh, you can add that particular parent link field on your card, your Jira card. But if we talk about uh, the quick filter, so the main question that uh, Luca then asked, how can we then uh, write a JQL to filter all the issues based on an initiative? And fortunately, there is a way to do it. If you have portfolio, you can use something like this, issue key in a child issues of, and then you can type in the initiative name. Of course, it is hard coded but it works. There is also a similar way or method of doing something similar with script runners, scripted, uh, script runners, custo, uh, script runner JQL, like custom JQL functions, but that only works uh, on a server. I'm not really sure about cloud, but the way it works on cloud, it's, cloud is anyways different. But uh, it, because this question was asked on cloud, so I'll of course just uh, give you the JQL that should work on cloud. And uh, if you want to learn more about this, you can actually take a look at this particular uh, page. And uh, this particular page will give you the uh, the JQL, for example, for uh, for finding all the issues, all the child issues of a specific initiative, like all the levels, you can use something similar to this. Basically, you have to hard code your initiative. So maybe create quick filters based on this. And when you click on the quick filter on top, you will then be able to filter all the issues or maybe create it as a swim lane. And at the same time, as I mentioned, you can also add your parent link in the card field, both in the backlog and also in the active sprint view. So not the full hierarchy, but uh, you do have some possibilities. And uh, even if you're using the plan, I think uh, plan is also, also good, a good place to not only look at the issues, but you can also interact with the plan. So if, if you're doing some changes in your plan, you can do that and you can then uh, review the changes and then save those changes back to the issues in your uh, individual projects. So that is it. That is all I wanted to talk about in this video. Uh, so in this video, we, we basically talked about hierarchies, Jira software, adding fields, additional fields in the cards and uh, quick filter and most importantly the JQL to fetch all the child issues of an issue based on the portfolio hierarchy. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye bye.